You're here today, I know you probably have some strong feelings about what today's about. A lot of people seem to think that Lavoie was assassinated or ambushed or murdered. Uh, it's difficult because a lot of the facts and evidence have, haven't have been forthcoming from the FBI or the state police. What are your thoughts on today? On uh, today, um, it's a sad day in history and he was a great man and I do feel like he was ambushed. He was murdered. He, he was shot in the back and it wasn't right. He was there defending our Constitution and our rights as we would all like to be doing and God bless him and rest in peace and I feel bad for his family. It's, we lost a good guy. Yeah, the, the, the thing that, that I think a lot of people have echoed through here is the fact that there, there seems to be a real sense of sadness uh, for a couple of reasons. First of all, a wonderful man, a family man, father of 11, a, a great guy who is now lo no longer with us. But the other part of this that's so dynamic is the fact that there doesn't seem to be animosity. There seems to be a real uh, levelness. There seems to be a real stability in everyone we've interviewed today. And uh, you're a prime example of that, ma'am. Is there any closing thoughts you have? Uh, everybody needs to open their eyes and, and wake up. We need, everybody needs to realize what's going on. The feds are trying to take our private property. They are taking it. You need to stand up and get involved. We need more people that are willing to stand up for our constitutional rights and say enough is enough without violence. Thank you, ma'am. You're a patriot. Thank you. Thank you.